All right, welcome everybody um, to the Police and Fire Commission for the City of Fitchburg on July 21st, 2021. It's about a little after 6.30, um, but we're gonna commence the meeting. So I'm calling the meeting to order. Um, the first order of business is the approval of the minutes from July 6th. Um, have the commissioners had a chance to review those? All right. And any comments on those or any adjustments we need to make? Hearing none, do we have um, a motion to um, accept those minutes? I'll move to approve the minutes as presented. And we have a second. And all in favor of approving the minutes from July 6th, raise your hand and say aye. 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 Very good. All right, thanks. Uh, next order of business is public appearances for non-agenda items. Do we have any of those this evening? We have a few people out, but everybody's just here in attendance, okay. Um, the next order is the next order uh, item up is the report from the fire department. Chief. Thank you very much. The, uh, the report that is in the packet uh, reflects the call volume and uh, some of the uh, regular activities that we participate in from month to month, and we are trending upward, uh, projecting a, uh, an increase in call volume this, uh, this year. Uh, our inspections are on task uh, with the, uh, the good weather and the, the fact that um, we had some, uh, some inspections to catch up on from COVID. Uh, we're well within our, uh, our numbers to be able to, to meet expectation for the end of the year. Our inspections are what drive our 2% dues, so what we get back from the state is, uh, it, it relies on us completing those inspections. And in our staffing report, uh, we, uh, we started out uh, in the beginning of the spring, late spring, early summer, with about six to seven people that were uh, capable of starting our recruit academy, and right now we are working with three. Uh, it turned out that uh, some of the obligations as far as staffing and training could not be met, and so we had, uh, we had uh, about four people who have, uh, who have addressed um, the, the fact that it just wasn't the right time for them. We also have an intern firefighter that completed her internship, and she did not stay on our paid on call uh, ranks. She accepted a job with a medical facility and uh, needed to transition away from the fire department. We have four new interns that have begun their mini minimum skill training, so uh, we are actually on target with the number of interns that we typically have. Uh, so that, uh, that is probably one of the, the best programs uh, in the state. Obviously, it's something that allows us to promote professional development with kids just coming out of high school. Uh, and at the end of that internship, they have the potential of, uh, of seeking full-time employment, if not with the city of Fitchburg because of our limited availability uh, with the, uh, the availability, or, um, with the potential of uh, accepting employment elsewhere in the state and actually in the country. So that continues to be a very successful program for us and we'll try to continue that for as long as we possibly can. And then uh, training, we're finally able to have our in-person training, so that is happening uh, on a regular basis now. Um, we, uh, we, we really need to get back in contact with each other and it, it feels good to be able to practice um, the way that we used to. So uh, with that, there really isn't much else that I can, uh, I can share other than the fact that uh, numbers from a staffing perspective are continuing the same projection. Uh, those, uh, those paid on call positions, paid on premises positions are, are becoming increasingly difficult to fill based on the staffing requirement and the continuing education requirements. So we're doing our best to, uh, to reach out, try to, uh, to get into, um, into the, uh, the, the planning stages of high school kids to the point where they can consider uh, the fire service as a profession. Um, but it really is a matter of trying to establish uh, what kind of connections and networks we can make within the school system and beyond. So. Uh, I'd be happy to entertain any questions uh, right now. All right, do commissioners have any questions about the staffing report? Tom? 
not really a question, but I noticed today on Nextdoor that there was a shout out in um, support of our Fitchburg Police Department or Fire Department thanking you for a car fire that occurred sometime somewhere in the Jamestown neighborhood. So, Chief, just pointing that out, thank you so much for everything you do and for the police department and everything they do. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's uh, it's good to see the, those uh, that that feedback. Obviously, uh, people don't get to experience fires on a regular well as regularly as we do. Uh, so uh, to be able to put our best foot forward was uh, it's, it's good to hear. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, Tom. Any other comments or questions for uh, the police chief or police for the fire chief? We're not projecting anything when when you keep saying police department and police chief, right? right. <laughs> be able to keep me where I am at, right? At least it wasn't just me, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Um, uh, the next order of business is the uh, report from the police department. Chief? That's really small. No, that's all right. Uh, thank you uh, This for this uh, month's staffing report. Uh, the only thing notable to uh, really uh, point out is the vacancy for police chief, which we are... Uh, hopefully going to fill in short order here. The four that are in the Law Enforcement Academy are progressing well. They're moved on to phase two of the academy uh, and passing phase one, which is uh, a significant jump um, to getting through the academy. They'll be moving on to more of the, uh, the tactical approaches in, in phase two where it gets, uh, sometimes it gets a little bit um, questionable if that's that's kind of the point where where recruits make it or break it as far as uh, law enforcement is concerned. So I, I was able to get a, a very nice compliment on the four uh, officer recruits that we have up in, in Appleton from one of the hotel uh, staff uh, reached out to me and, and uh, was gave a glowing review of the four and how uh, respectful and how much character the four of them had. So that, that was actually a very nice thing uh, that somebody did. So I'm very excited about those four. Hopefully they can uh, stay on track in the in the academy. Uh, the restricted leave uh, or on leave or restricted duty. We actually had one officer recently return from uh, their stint on military, uh, so that's a uh, num number that's improved, as well as an, two other officers. One uh, probationary officer that's actually going to be coming off of um, long term medical leave hopefully in August. So that should add to our some of our numbers and get that officer progressing through field training so they can be on their own. So um, positive things there. Any questions on that? Any questions on the staffing report from the commission? Tom? Do I, do I remember correctly that the number of restricted duty went up by two? I thought I noticed that, but... That's right. It did go up by two, but I was notified uh, yesterday that one of our officers is going to be returning, and then there was another officer who uh, had to take a, a shorter leave of uh, absence for a medical uh, reason. So they should be coming back online by the end of this month. Okay, great. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much for the report. Um, and the next item up is uh, moving into closed session. Would somebody read uh, the notation to take us into closed session, please? I can do so. Thanks. Um, I move that pursuant to section 19.85, subsection 1, subsection C, Wisconsin statutes, the commission will move into closed session for the purpose of considering employment promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility, more specifically to make hiring recommendations for the Town of Madison Police Officer Recruitment. And just a quick thank you for that, Tom. Just one question. Um, before closed session, who needs to leave? <laughs> Session. When we invited the um, panels, it was only for the closed session for discussing the um, who we'd be bringing in for finalists. So I don't know about the closed session for this part. So um, 
Yeah, so Tom, I think if you could just leave and then come right back then after closed session, I'll let you, I can let you know. Sure. Thank you, Sarah. Then thanks, Tom. Sorry about getting the boot for this one. You are. You are. Yes, yes, for the last piece. And you can let Co you can let Colleen know that she is as well. She will she will be also for that. <laughs> All right, so thank you, Tom. So do we have a motion to move into closed session? And a second? Second. All uh, in favor of moving to closed session, raise your hand and say aye. 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 In the closed session we go. And we're back into open session. Um, uh, we had a good discussion in closed session, and uh, next month we'll be um, um, taking up the town of Madison uh, hiring recruitment. Um, next item on the agenda is uh, the report for, uh, for human resources and a closed session again to discuss that. Rosa, could you take us into closed session? Okay. Okay. I don't have my... Here. It's just, I don't have the... I couldn't open my computer. Oh, you got it? Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you. Pursuant to section, oops, am I on now? Yes. Pursuant to section 19.85, paren 1, paren C of the Wisconsin statutes, the commission will move into closed session for the purpose of considering employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility more specifically to determine the finalist for the police chief after discussion of the interview and community presentation scores. All right, all in favor of moving into closed session, raise your hand and say aye. 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 And closed session. Okay, we're back in open session. Um, the Police and Fire Commission in closed session decided on a list of finalists for police chief uh, for the city of Fitchburg. Um, and do I have a motion to approve that list of finalists? I move that we approve the um, list of finalists for to move to the next um, step in the process uh, for the police and chief. And do I have a second? I second that motion. Okay, all in favor of approving uh, the motion, raise your hand and say aye. 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 Very good, motion moved. Um, so uh, public announcements uh, in regards to the finalists will be made sometime early next week. It'll be done on social media for the city of Fitchburg and it'll also be done on the, um, on the city's website. Um, so next item is announcements. Does anybody have any announcements? Hearing none, um, the last item is adjournment, actually. So do I have a motion to adjourn the Police and Fire Commission meeting? Move to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> Very good. Um, everybody in favor of adjourning, raise your hand and say aye. 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 Thank you, all.